How's it going guys? My name is Dozy Brook and welcome back to another quick update video. The Oculus Rift was supposed to be cheaper. So what happened? Oculus founder Palmer Lucky seems to be having a pretty good day so far. We sold through a lot faster than we expected, he said. I can't talk about numbers but we sold through in 10 minutes but I thought we were going to sell through in few hours. Which is one of the reasons the size was beginning to buckle. The consumer version of the Oculus Rift is now out for pre-order at $599, a price that seems to have caught many people off guard. Lucky himself used to tell people that the final cost of the hardware would be around $300 to $400 range. So what changed? A lot of things changed, he said. Oculus' original plan was to sell an updated version of the development kit to as the consumer version, although they were unhappy with some aspects of the design. Problem is the frame rate is low enough that a lot of people perceive flicker, like he said. The resolution is not what we would like it to be. We couldn't do things we wanted to do with optics while it was one display. The company is constantly working on internal prototypes with an eye to the future, and the acquisition by Facebook created many new possibilities. The Facebook resources allowed us to do that to say we want to make custom panels. What would a made for virtual reality panel look like, he asked. How high can we push the refresh rates on these panels? How low can we push the persistence. How high fill can we get on this? What can we do to the multiple displays with optics that are a sealed package and move to edge chest? Interpupillary distance. Oculus began to experiment with what was possible and became much more ambitious with what could be done in the consumer virtual reality headset. What came out of that were the prototypes that became crescent pay, a prototype for the retail version of the hardware. And when we compared what we had to what we were making internally, it was such a huge difference, Lucky said. It was hard to look at what we made before and say, yeah, this is a consumer ready. This is what everyone is going to want. This of course caused the price to go up. Building the best VR headsets cost a lot more than just making a good headset, he explained. Oculus wanted to create a product that would make more people want VR, something that made the technology aspirational rather than initially inexpensive. We decided in the end to optimize quality over cost. And this is how he explained the rise in price of Oculus Rift. And this is it for today's quick update video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.